What is going on everyone? Rock here and welcome to day number one in my countdown to Battlefield 3. Yeah, this is a really, really short countdown. Guess what? Tonight at midnight you can go pick up this game. And uh, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to do a countdown for Battlefield 3. It felt left out. And uh, I'm hoping to maybe ease some of the the fanboy wars here. I'm uh, going to be playing the Battlefield 3 beta here using the recon kit, but I'm not using a sniper rifle. I am using the UMP with the holographic sight and the silencer, and I think I got the tactical flashlight on there as well. And uh, the main reason I want to use the recon kit is the mobile spawn point can be quite useful, especially when you're defending. You can keep that spawn point near your MCOM stations, and you can... Do what you're supposed to do, and that is play the objective. And uh, I don't know, I just, I think so many people are just looking to get into this fight over Battlefield 3 versus Modern Warfare 3. I got news for you. I am going to get this game. I don't know if I'm going tonight to midnight release, but I'm definitely going to go tomorrow and pick it up if I don't. And I'm going to be playing Battlefield 3 until Modern Warfare 3 comes out. And then I'm going to be playing both of them. I don't know which one I'll play the most. Uh, I suppose it'll depend on which one I like the most. And uh, we'll just have to kind of wait and see which one that is. But I played a lot of the Battlefield series. I played Bad Company 1, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 1943, and I loved them. They were great games. Uh, they just didn't transfer well for me over to YouTube and therefore I really didn't do much on YouTube associated with the Bad Company games. Now to be really fair when the first Bad Company game came out I was actually really really small here on YouTube and that's not saying I'm large now because I don't think I am. I still feel my channel is pretty small compared to a lot of other guys. Um, it's just that Battlefield in general the gameplays tend to tend to last so long that I don't feel they transfer over to to YouTube that well. Uh, generally, people like about a five to ten minute gameplay. That's about your threshold for attention spans when it comes to video game gameplay commentaries here on YouTube. And a lot of your gameplays in the Battlefield series can run you 20, 30 minutes. You know, especially when you got some evenly matched teams. You can go 30 minutes really easy in a game of Rush. Now, this particular game here. As you have probably noticed from the time of the video, it's a pretty quick game. And uh, that's kind of why I went ahead and picked this particular gameplay. It's not the most impressive score, but I liked it because I felt I did what I had to do, and that's stuff like this right here. Defuse the bomb, play the objective. That's uh, a big battle cry for the Battlefield series is PTFO. Play the effing objective. And that's exactly what I do. And... I think some people go, oh, yeah, that's campy. You're just camping around that bush right here. You know what? I am. I'm hanging really close to these MCOM stations. I use the mobile spawn point, which is one thing I really, really like about the recon kit, is using that mobile spawn point to help you stay on top of the MCOMs, whether you're attacking or defending. Uh, I use it in attacking situations as well. Really, really helps having to run the entire distance of the map from the uh, spawn point all the way down to the MCOM stations. It's really nice to come down and drop that mob mobile spawn point about halfway, and uh, you and your squad can then spawn on it and be right on top of it. But having it here defending, you know, here we go, we're going to defuse again, playing the objective like you're supposed to. So I got a feeling I probably won't do as many gameplays on Battlefield 3 as I'd like to because I have a feeling a lot of your really good games are going to be just entirely too long. Uh, I may have to do some creative editing like that uh, last Battlefield 3 beta video that I put up, but uh, I definitely enjoy playing it and I really can't tout enough the fact that you need to make up your mind yourself for, for the Battlefield 3 versus Modern Warfare 3 thing. You can't let other people influence you on how to make your decision. For me, I'm telling you, get both of them. Why not? I mean, that's that's really the simple answer to it all, is to get and play both games. They're both going to be really good shooters. I have no doubts about that. Having played the beta, 
having played Modern Warfare 3 at COD XP, they're both going to be fun. Now you may have an instance where you can't get both. Maybe for economic reasons you just can't quite afford to have both games and you have to pick one or the other. Then what I'll say to you as a person that has to make this de decision, can't talk all of a sudden, if you have to make this decision to pick one or the other, I would say rent the games if you can. Rent them, try them out yourself, then make your own decision. Don't necessarily base it on a commentator's uh, commentary and gameplay. You can take that into uh, part of the equation, and you can definitely watch a lot of gameplay here on YouTube. Uh, mine, others, take it all in and then help use that information to, to form your opinions. But at the end of the day, I would suggest somehow trying to play the games yourself and uh, then decide which one you have to buy. But there's this huge thing in the community where people just want to have one or the other. It's like Coke versus Pepsi, Chevrolet versus Ford, Yankees, Red Sox, I don't know. <laughs> It's just, it's a healthy rivalry. Rivalry is good. It's good when you have things like this competing with one another. Um, a lot of people think, you know, you have to have one thing dominating all the time. Not true, not true. Rivalry, very healthy, very good. And I think this is going to be a, a good rivalry. I don't, a lot of people see it as something bad. Like I say, you have to pick one or the other. And that's simply just not the case. And I hope you guys take what I've said to heart and uh, don't let a lot of the hype kind of get you caught up into it and where you're like bad-mouthing one game over the other. You don't have to do that. At the end of the day, we're all gamers and we're all playing games for our fun and enjoyment. If you don't like one, play the other. This is just that simple. But I've really gone on and on and on about you know how both games are going to be good and you should decide for yourself for this whole video now and I haven't really talked about the gameplay much but Battlefield 3 gives you some really neat options you can unlock and and progress your weapons unlock different attachments I really like the fact that you can equip so many different attachments to the weapons uh, I like that a lot it's uh, it's really fun because it's gun on gun you don't have to worry about all the kill streaks coming in and and blasting you the pieces I didn't get ranked up quite as high as I would have liked to have gotten in the beta. I just really didn't get to play it as much as I wanted to. And unfortunately, uh, my friends didn't really enjoy the beta that much. So I'll probably be lone wolfing it quite a bit in Battlefield 3 for a while. Unless uh, I get some other people interested in playing it. But I'm going to definitely put some time into it. And I hope to bring you guys some really good gameplay here on YouTube with it. Uh, the weapons, I've heard rumors that they're going to nerf some of the weapons, but I think the weapon balance is really good. And the fact that you're on dedicated servers, I know you've probably seen some of these shots that I put on these guys in this particular game, they drop, they die. And that's what I really liked about it. When you shoot somebody and you're hitting them, they die. The flip side of that is, just like what you just saw, uh, you die too. You can get killed really quick in this game as well. So... Try some of the different kits out for yourself when you get this game. I personally love being a medic, most of all. I like being able to heal myself really fast by dropping out a health pack. Uh, you heal yourself over a period of time, no matter what class you have. It just takes a lot longer if you don't have a health pack. And you're very open to being killed by one bullet when your health is damaged you know, so much. But, uh, you know, give them all a try. Find one that suits your play style and... And just play it and have fun. Play the objective, though, guys. That's the only thing I will tell you. If you're playing anything other than Team Deathmatch, play the objective. Because uh, it definitely helps you win the game. We're going to stop this team here. They're not going to have a chance. We uh, we did give up the one MCOM, which uh, I defused it twice, but I just couldn't get it again. And uh, But if you pay attention to those tickets you know, on the other team, you can lose an MCOM and be okay. Uh, this game, though, is pretty much over. I think the uh, game ends right after I respawn. I'm going to end up going 15-4, and four, not the biggest score. But we win the game, and that's important. We defended the objectives well. And I'm going to get a bunch of ribbons here popping up in a moment. 
after this video, I'm going to put up a few random clips that I got. One's like a triple C4 blast, a quad spray, and a really weird way to lose a game. And uh, I'll let you enjoy those after the ribbons roll. I will see you guys again for another Modern Warfare 3 countdown video. I will see you guys soon on the battlefield. Have a fantastic day, everybody.